at thousands of roots. Uh, the topic of today's video is on a permaculture way of fixing a leaky pond. So Caleb and Kip are going to be talking about that in a little bit. But first, I'm just curious how many of you have had a really mild fall and winter like we have. It is now the end of December and it's been like spring weather. <laughs> We've got daffodils popping up. Thankfully, a lot of them have um, apple tree leaves and things covering them so they're not popping up just yet but there's a few bare spots where the bulbs are coming up already we have hollyhocks that are coming back to life uh, it's like it's been spring weather off and on all through december we did have one ice storm that was absolutely beautiful but it came and went really quickly the children really enjoyed seeing all the ice stuck to all the trees and little icicles everywhere it was just beautiful but we haven't even really had a whole lot of rain. We got some good rain last night, but not like the rain that we normally get this time of year. So it's been unusual, which is typical for Missouri. There really isn't a normal here in the Ozarks, at least that we've found. You just never really know what to expect. Even though it's the end of December, we're heading right into winter. It feels like spring still. Maybe winter is still coming. We'll see. So we've been working on filling the new duck pond. Because we haven't had a whole lot of rain, we've been using off and on our well when we have good sunny days to try and fill it. We haven't been able to get it filled to the top yet because it just keeps leaking. The guys are gonna share what we're doing about that problem and how we're using a resource that we already have here on the homestead. If you've seen our past videos, you already kind of have an idea of what we're doing to try and fix our leaky pond. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm out here by the pond with my son, my awesome son Caleb, and um, we're going to be talking a little bit about the pond um, today. This pond we dug and surprise, surprise, it's leaking. Right? Were, were we surprised by that? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit, but at the same time not really because you kind of got to expect the pond to leak right after you dig it. <laughs> Unless you immediately backfill it, right, with clay. There's other ways to do it. You can fill it, you can fill in with a bentonite clay. You can find good clay when you're digging. You can backfill it with the good clay. Um, another way that we learned from our permaculture studies uh, through Jeff Lawton was that uh, if you have a leaky pond, move animals into the pond. And one way that he recommends is ducks. So, what have we been doing, Scooter? We've been giving the ducks access to the pond. Yeah, and this, a lot of things with permaculture, you guys, a lot of things in permaculture, they are not the quick, easy fix. A lot of things. So, how long do we expect this to take, Caleb? Potentially a couple months. So, this is like months of having the ducks on here, having them seal it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that's what we're doing with the pond. And it is working. It's already filling, holding water, what, two times more than what it was yeah. um, three weeks ago? Yeah. So. Yeah. So we've already made good progress. So that's really cool. This pond, just for perspective, this section here, uh, it's pretty good size, so you've got <clears throat> all the way from here, then it goes all the way, and I know this is a terrible way to shoot it, but that's how I'm going to do it, then it goes all the way over there, and that's an island there with a bridge. There's a whole other section on the other side of the island <clears throat> that's about half as big as this, so it's it's a pretty good sized pond. So some of our plans for today is you know, the pond, the island to me. We'd like to get it. more planted out. We already have some little bushes and tree-like shrubs on it. And down here we would like to eventually have an orchard. And we would also like to eventually be able to stock the pond with fish and grow some water purifying plants. And the orchard, are the ducks going to have access to the orchard? Yes, to help clear out bugs. Cool. Hi. 
All right, guys. Hey, for anybody who's relatively new to our channel, if you haven't seen the video, the Miracle Goose, Sonny the Miracle Goose. Here he is, right here, still alive, you guys. He likes to go down the pond and go swimming, and he is still here. He's not just alive; he's thriving. So check out the link on what was it um, tragedy or miracle in the making? I think is the video was called. Check that out, you guys. It's a tearjerker, I'll tell you what. And look, here he is. I like that song. Mm. Daddy, that's a song for you. That's a song for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You want to do one for mommy? Alright guys, this day is already coming to a close. It's gone so fast. Um, we're going to have some supper now, but I wanted to mention, uh, in case you're wondering about the kind of big puddly area where the guys mentioned we're going to hopefully put in an apple orchard, that area will uh, eventually drain. We're going to put in a culvert going underneath the new driveway. So hopefully that won't be a big old puddle there. <laughs> and, and and we're hoping that's going to be a great spot for planting some apple trees. Why don't you guys come to dinner with us? Made roast beef from one of our own cows. So grass fed roast beef, <coughs> mashed taties, and broccoli. Hey Biddle Boo, where's your broccoli at? Right there. Right there? Is that all that's left? I served up a lot more broccoli than that for you. Did you already eat it all? No. No? You've got that much left right now? Yeah. <laughs> Did it all you like that broccoli? Yeah. Yep. Esther Pie, you got a nice plate there. Mm -hmm. The meal's over and now it's time for the treat. What are you working on there, Josh? Oh, the pomegranate. Pomegranate. You can't get these very often in the stores, huh? So this is a December, usually in December we end up having these mm -hmm. as a Hanukkah treat, huh? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you excited, Jay? Mm-hmm. Are you excited, Biddle? <coughs> you like pomegranates? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we celebrate Hanukkah. Yes, we celebrate the feast of the Bible. Because Yeshua Jesus, our Savior, kept the feast. So why not keep the feast? Okay, you guys, I know this is going to be stirring up the hornet's nest. So, here's the deal. We believe in faith in the work of the Son of God, Jesus Yeshua, our Savior, Messiah. His work is what saves us. By none of our works, by keeping all the feasts and festivals perfectly has nothing to do with salvation at all, ever, nothing. No, nope, nada. <laughs> okay? So that not works based, not being perfect by the law or any of that. Only by faith in his work are we saved. But Yeshua, Jesus, Peter, James, Paul, John, and Paul, and all the rest of the apostles kept the feasts and festivals. If it was good enough for them, it's good enough for me. And upstairs, I hear a little one. It's a little dark up here, but 
I hear our little one waking up. Can you believe she's three weeks old now? Three weeks old. She's going back to sleep. Yep, she is definitely back to sleep. <laughs> If any of you are interested in learning about more about the history of Hanukkah, we can highly recommend that you check out Philea Ministries video, uh, link right up there, and uh, you won't be disappointed. Lee did a really awesome video on the history of Hanukkah and how they celebrate it. It was a huge blessing for our family. We pray blessings over you and yours, and whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. Yeah, she's awake. <laughs> Do 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 do